Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to speak about a really interesting topic which is the telomerase and the end replication problem. So first of all in order to understand this we should understand the telomere. So what is the telomere? The telomere is this cap at the end of the chromosome which it exists at each end of the chromosome so it's a DNA sequence and it's a repetitive sequence of a, so TTAGGG. So it's like if we take a closer look of this, it's, it looks like this. So it's a repetitive TTAGGG sequence with, with the complementary, of course. And um, so in a human cell, if we have 46 chromosomes, then at each chromosome there are two telomeres and then we have 92 telomeres. Now, what's the function of telomere? What, why does telomere exist? Actually, the telomere exists at the, at the end of each chromosome in order to prevent, of course, to separate the chromosomes from each other and to prevent fusion between chromosomes. So, um, so if telomere does not exist, then there will be massive genomic instability. And also it exists to protect the tip of the chromosome. So it protects like um, chromosome from being trimmed or shortened. And we're going to see this in a few minutes. So in order to understand the role of telomerase and the interplication problem, we should talk a little bit about DNA synthesis or synthesize. So First, we should know that DNA is a double strand and it's anti-parallel. So if the first, so the first strand goes from five prime to three prime, the second goes from five prime to three prime in the other direction. So here is five prime, here is three prime, here is five prime, here is, here is three prime. We should know also that the elongation of DNA strand goes always 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 from five prime to three prime so it's in this direction you see the arrow here so it's in always in the direction of five prime to three prime there is no way that the dna synthesized can go in the other direction but why so i'm going to tell you how dna elongation takes place so here is the nucleotide dna as you know is a sequence of our uh, chain of nucleotide so a nucleotide is a dioxyribose sugar and a phosphate group and a nitrogen base. So if we take this uh, nucleotide, we put it here. So we have, we get a hydroxyl group from the dioxyribose sugar. And this hydroxyl group is exactly needed to add the next nucleotide. So here is the like the, the 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 bond between the two nucleotides, and also here we have a hydroxyl group from the sugar which uh, is needed to be, to add the next nucleotide and the next nucleotide and the next nucleotide. So the, here is the DNA sequence, and here is the five prime and here is the three prime. So there is no way that the DNA elongation takes place in the other direction because this hydroxyl group is really needed for the addition of the new nucleotide. So how does DNA synthesize takes place? We know that DNA is a double strand. So here is the strand from three prime, here is five prime, the other is anti-parallel, so it's five prime, three prime. So first of all, the two strands of DNA are separated, as you see, and the copying starts from this direct from from one end to the other. So for the first strand, which is from th three prime to five prime, there is really no problem because here is the parent strand, and then the daughter strand will goes will will go easily from five prime to three prime way till the end of the strand. So there is really no problem because the elongation of DNA takes place normally from five prime to three prime. So there is really no problem. And at the three prime end, we always have have a hydroxyl group to end another nucleotide. So there is no problem. <clears throat> And this is what we call the leading strand. The real problem is with the lagging strand because 
here is five prime, here is three prime. So the daughter strand will start from three prime and the DNA cannot be elongated from three prime to five prime. So there is a problem here. So the problem is solved by another way. So first, um, there are RNA primers. So here are, here are the RNA primers, the green ones. The RNA primers recognize the DNA st strand and then they, are, they, they bind to it. They provide a hydroxyl group in order to uh, form the DNA uh, strand. So the DNA strands or the DNA fragments will, be, will start from the end of each RNA primer like this. So we will have separated DNA strands, which we call Okazaki fragments. And then the RNA primer, prim so this takes place by DNA polymerase. And then the RNA primers will be removed and the DNA, so here we have hydroxyl group, here we have hydroxyl group at the three prime end, here we have hydroxyl group. So the DNA fragments will be completed like this. And then we have the DNA strand. Now the problem is not here, but the problem is at the very end of the strand. So let's go to see what happens at the, at the end of the DNA uh, strand. So as I told you, in the leading strand, there is really no problem because the daughter strand goes from five prime to three prime way till the end of this strand. But the problem is with the lagging strand because, as I told you, so here are the RNA primers which provide a hydroxy group. The DNA, uh, sorry, RNA primers, yeah. The DNA fragments are formed between the RNA primers and then the RNA primers are removed. But the problem is with this RNA primer because when the RNA primers are removed and then the DNA fragments are completed from but from from the end because here there is a hydroxyl group which is needed at the three prime uh, end of the fragment then the dna fragments will be completed but this will stay empty because here we don't have any hydroxyl group in order to build a nucleotide chain so this is what we call the end replication problem because at each time the DNA is uh, replicating or the cells are uh, replicating, the DNA is shortened and this remains empty. So here is a problem because actually if this happens every time the cells are, um, are, are, are doubling, then the, our DNA will, will be all consumed shortly after birth because this is not possible to happen. But actually that does not happen because of the telomere and the telomer telomerase. How? Let's see. So here is the telomerase. A telomerase is a protein. It's a ribonucleoprotein enzyme. So it's it's a protein. So here is the, the blue part is a protein and it contains a, an, an RNA sequence. So a ribonucleic acid. Because of this, we call it a ribonucleoprotein enzyme. Its enzyme activity is reverse transcriptase. So what does reverse transcriptase mean? Means is that it's um, it convert it copy DNA from RNA, so it's from RNA to DNA, so it's reverse transcription. So what does the telomerase do? Is the so here is the end replication problem here, and uh, he this is a telomere actually because it, it's at the end of the DNA. It's T T A G G G T T A G G. And then the telomerase recognizes the end of the DNA and it binds to it. So here is the, the green thing is the protein and the red thing is a RNA sequence. And then the telomerase elongate the parent DNA strand. So it causes an elongation in the parent DNA strand. And then the RNA primer recognizes the tip of the DNA and 
the and the DNA the, the daughter DNA strand will be completed from the hydroxyl group you see here the RNA so there will be a completion of the DNA and then the tip of the DNA will be uh, will be maintained um, actually here is how the telomerase um, solve the end replication problem I, I, I hope you understand it but actually telomerase does not exist in always in sufficient amounts in human cells so DNA shortening does happen sometimes during a human life so here it is so this is the telomere and yeah each time the cell is dividing there is some telomere shortening maybe not on all the chromosomes but yeah there is dna or telomere shortening when the cells are dividing and here is a very nice photo actually because this is a chromosome of a newborn you can imagine it that way and here is the chromosome of <clears throat> of an elderly so you can see how the telomere is shortened um, we can say that at birth a human ha has something like 10,000 base pair on the telomere so the telomere is something like 10,000 base pair and lately um, at the end of the life um, there are all all only 5,000 base pair on the telomeres so yeah this is what we call cell aging at the moment there are many scientists who are studying this and how they can prevent this in order to keep human i don't know immortal um telomere also has a role in cancer because scientists have found that the the level of telomerase is really more in inside tumor cells than the normal cells because you know that cancer cells um proliferate uncontroll un un uncontrollable uncontrollably so yeah when the cancer cells are dividing they need a lot of telomerase in order to keep yeah immor immortal immortal in order to stay immortal you we all know that cancer cells are immortal but we don't know why but yeah they are immortal because they have a high amount of telomerase inside and telomerase is also used sometimes in order to diagnose uh, malignancy so they 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 measure the amount of telomerase inside the tumor in order to diagnose malignancy um, actually, this is everything I wanted to tell you about telomere and telomerase. Um, I really find this very interesting. I don't know if you always find it. Maybe you can <clears throat> um, leave some comments uh, or like or share the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.